Hello and welcome to my channel, How to Speak Amharic. Today we're going to be looking at the concept of possession in Amharic. There are two main ways to express possession. We're going to be looking at one of them right now and I'm going to make a follow-up video and I'm going to link that to this one showing the other way to do it. So yeah, just before we begin, just want to say thanks again to everyone who subscribed and watching. So if you're not subscribed, definitely hit the subscribe button. I've got a bunch more content coming out. And yeah, I'm trying to get it out as soon as possible. So for possession in Amharic, one way to express possession is by adding an ending to the noun for which you're talking about. So in English, where you would say like my cup or my computer, in Amharic, one way to express possession is to add a suffix to the noun. So you're changing the actual word to express the owner of what that noun is. So the challenge sentence for this video is going to be try to write her money. Remember that money was genzeb and then use what you learned from this video to add the correct ending to turn ganzab, which is money, into her money. So you've actually seen this before if you watched, for example, my previous video on uh, family members. There was one sentence in which I used the word my mother. So in English, that's two words. But in Amharic, you can say it as Ennate. Ennate. So, Ennat in Amharic is mother, but adding the A ending, is making it Ennate, changes it to be my mother. So, notice that difference. Ennat, so if you're just talking about a mother, you would say like Ennat, versus if you're saying like your own mother, my mother, right? You'd say Ennate, that's my mother. And then you can do this with all of the different pronouns. And so there's a sort of one-to-one -one mapping for the possessive endings and each of the pronouns. And so for the first person ending, it's a, enate. So next we have the expressing possession for the second person male. And so the ending for that is E-H. So expressing yours for a male, the ending is E-H. So the example I put up is your money. So money in Amharic is ganzeb. That's just money. But saying your money to a male is ganzeb. Ganzeb. Ganzeb your money for the second person female it's similar but we have the e s h ending e s h so if we wanted to say your bag bag in amharic is borsa so if bag is borsa we add the ESH ending, and that gives us borsash. The ESH ending gives us borsash. So that's how you say your bag in Amharic. And like I said earlier, there are other ways to express possession. I will be making a follow up video, so keep an eye out for that. I'll probably release that one next just because it makes the most sense. But we're going over the possession suffixes today. Borsash, your bag. Next, for speaking to a group of people, the possessive ending for speaking to a group of people, the second person plural, is achu. Achu. So, if we want to say your house, 
you would say beta chahu beta chahu your house would then become beta chahu so the ending for the second person plural is achu next we have hours so the possessive suffix ending for we the pronoun we ours is achin achin so if we wanted to say our father for example our father becomes abat achin so father is abat our father is abat achin this is a phrase that you'll hear in church, for example, for referring to God, Abbatachin, our father. Achin, so Abbat, then becomes Abbatachin. So for the third person male, the ending is U. So adding a U, so his food would then become migabu so we go from migab to migabu that's his food so uh the third person male form in amharic is always very sort of versatile so it can refer to the speaking about a male in the third person but also just in the general sense so like for it let's say so migabu could be his food or it could also be like the food for example it's a little complicated but for all intents and purposes you can just think of it as the third person male form of expressing possession so megab becomes megabu that's his food so then we have the third person female possessive suffix which is w a wa so that's the ending so if we wanted to say her kid or like her child the word for kid or child is lidge lidge but now if we want to express who that child belongs to and we want to say it about a woman we could say lidjwa Lidjwa. Her child is Lidjwa. And then for theirs, speaking about a group of people in the third person, the ending is similar to the plural second person, but slight difference. Theirs, the possessive ending is Acho. Acho. So, if we wanted to say their book, book in Amharic is Mitzaf. Mitzaf, that's book. And then if we want to say their book, it's Mitzafacho. 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 So, just going over all of the endings again we have for na we have a as in innate innat becomes innate the a is the possessive first person ending for the for speaking to a male in the second person we have the eh ending so remember our example was ganzebe for the second person female, we have the ESH ending. So remember that example was borsash. Borsash. For inanta, second person plural, it's achahu. And our example for that was beta chahu. For we or inya in a mark, the possessive ending for that was. Achin. Achin. 
the example for that was a batachin. For the third person male, the su, where we have the u ending, our example was nagavu. For iswa, third person female, the ending for that was wa. That was where lij became lijwa. And then for inasu or theirs, the ending was acho. And that was where mutsaf became mutsafa cho. So these are the possessive endings in Amharic. Be sure to go over these and practice them. One example sentence that I would challenge you to write is try writing based off of what we've done. Her money. Her money. So remember, your money was Ganzeve. And use what you've learned in this video to write her money. So yeah, I will be following this up with another video showing the another way to express possession in Amharic. But I figured I would start with the possessive suffixes first. If you felt like you learned something, definitely hit that like button. If you're not subscribed, so please subscribe because I have a bunch more content coming out. And thanks for watching. Take care, everyone.